i.e. any independent American. The whole system's for you. It surveils you. It has nothing to do with little brown people. Do you got that? The New World Order is worried about the last country they haven't disarmed, that they haven't fully bankrupted and run yet. They've taken over everywhere else. They want the U.S., the big fat engine of tyranny, under full control. <coughs> Continuing here. Here's time. Yemen, Al-Qaeda's new training ground. Oh, my gosh. We've got to attack them. Everything's a hoax. It's like the health care bill. Now the Democrats have actually read it. It cuts everybody's health care and increases taxes. Got to pass. The banker bailout, unlimited trillions, secretly going to banks, not to get the economy going. No one gets in trouble. Everything's fake. Everything's a hoax. Everything's a fraud. We have a criminal government that's committed so many crimes, why shouldn't they commit a million more? You've got this guy on a terror watch list allowed on. You've got the FBI protecting this guy. You've got the guy's dad going and saying, my son's hooked up with something bad. You've got this guy living in million-dollar apartments, and he shows up disheveled with some handler. Witnesses say he looked out like he was drugged out of his mind. Here's some other witnesses from the airplane on the same show that Mr. and Mrs. Haskell were on talking about the guy filming the entire flight. The government doesn't want to talk to them. You got that queued up? Here it is. Yeah, that was very strange. There was a man that when we first took off, I noticed about 10 seats ahead of us to the left-hand side. He uh, had a camcorder, and I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe this was his first flight and was just excited. And then when the actual incident occurred, I looked up, and he was the only one standing and filming the entire thing. Interesting. There are obviously still so much more to come out about this. We really appreciate you joining us, uh, Kurt and Lori Haskell, Rochelle. And in her, uh, we in her full testimony, that's another witness on with the Haskells. That's not the Haskells. In fact, I want to get her on if we can for the feds. Tell them to shut up. In the full interviews they've given on radio stations, like the radio station source I mentioned earlier, let me be exact about that, 620, she said, yeah, the whole flight he was taping. We kept wondering why. Why aren't you seeing that video on the news? You're seeing a cop photo after the cops came on when the plane landed. Everybody's saying, well, that must be the footage with the police arresting him. No, there weren't a bunch of uniformed Detroit airport police uh, on the plane. The citizens got him, tied him up, strip searched him to make sure he didn't have any more bombs. And that's a police photo. Why aren't the police releasing the footage? Because they haven't computer morphed it yet. Why haven't they released the footage of the smart dressed man on all those airport video cameras from Amsterdam? Why haven't they released the footage from the man on the flight? Or if they don't have it, why didn't the man on the flight give it to him? Was he the handler of this guy? Don't worry. Don't worry, underwear bomber. I will be here videotaping. Security brought you on. You go ahead. You're doing this. You're going to be a full agent once you've carried out this drill. Continue with the drill. When they come on, you tell them it's part of a drill. This is how they do it. And for any of you fools working for the government, if they ever want you to do something you think is illegal during a drill, this is how they do it. This is how they set people up. This is how they operate. This is what they do over and over and over and over again. Meanwhile, we're not even talking about government takeover of health care. One-fifth of the U.S. economy. One-sixth, depending on how you slice it. What's left of the economy Openly written by the insurance companies, openly a scam, on record. Maybe Skeptics Magazine will write an article about how I'm imagining that. Maybe it doesn't have $41 billion cut for Medicare and Medicaid, even though the bill says it. 
We'll just have someone say, oh, everything's fine. I'm an expert. I'm the anointed one. I say none of it's real. I say you can trust the government and the media. I say anyone that says government's too big or out of control, they're a conspiracy theorist. You can now be lazy and go back to sleep. Let's go to Wayne or WAV. I'm, i got to get this monitor closer to me. Wave in Connecticut. You're on the air. Go ahead. Wave by. Wave high. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I just started listening to you about four months ago. And I just want to tell you, Alex, don't be frustrated by these naysayers. And, uh, I mean, you're, you're doing a good thing. And uh, I just want to tell you, my uh, my sister-in-law, who uh, is my brother's second wife, doesn't know me very well, but she, I, I, she said, who is this Alex Jones? So I played her a clip of you at the, uh, the Texas uh, Motor Vehicle Department and uh, refusing the thumb scan. And she's sitting there aghast saying, oh, my God, that guy's got big ones and this and that. And I says, I looked at her. I waited till she got all done. I says, I says, you know what? I says, I've been doing that for a long time without any camera crews. I says, without anybody behind me, all by myself in courts. Good job. And, and, and you know, I mean, you're not alone. I've been doing this. Uh, I've been part of constitutional groups for Absolutely. And look, look, if you hadn't been there doing what you're doing, Wave, we'd be in a lot worse trouble. Do you have any comments about all the news here or how CNN has a fake poll? Oh, 73 percent are ready for the full body scan. Show them the quick vote. Quick vote which means they can fix the quick vote. Would you be willing to undergo an airport full body scan? The vast majority of Americans in polls I've seen were against these. Now they love them. Save me from the Nigerian underwear bomber. Help me. Wave, I appreciate your call. Joe in Texas, you're on the air. Hello, Alex. How are you, sir? Well, I'm just scared to death of a Nigerian firecracker bomber. I better give up all my rights to foreign banks and have secret police violate the Bill of Rights and Constitution. The government's going to save me. That's how I'm doing, Joe. Thank God for the bankers. Thank God they used that tarp money to rob us. Oh, thank you. Alex, I just had, uh, I appreciate you, and I just had two uh, uh, questions, and one was directed uh, towards uh, when you had Ms. Salente on uh, regarding, do you think that they're going to try to slip some cap and trade into this health bill? And the second one was regarding Mr. Haskell. And you brought up a key point about the airport in Amsterdam. Just how many, you know, people of Indian descent or African descent uh, were in that airport and or on that plane with Mr. and Ms. Haskell. And uh, I'll just listen to your comments, and I appreciate you, and, and I'm getting your DVDs out as fast as I can. God bless you. Don't stop. The power of you, the listeners, getting the Obama deception in game, fall the republic, and giving it to people. The public is now ready to wake up. We've done incredible work together previously. Now is the season. Now is when the mighty crops are coming in. Every time we throw our nets in, the ships almost sink, and there's so many fish in the nets. People are like, oh, they're announcing world government. There's nothing we can do. Baloney. Now the enemies come out in the open. I would guess there's a lot of Africans, a lot of Arabs coming through Amsterdam. That's a major African Middle Eastern hub into Europe and the rest of the world. There's a billion Indians. They're everywhere. So I, I don't know. But uh, you know, the bigger question is, why aren't we seeing the video from the plane and in the concourse and in the airport out and what they'll do, what I predict in the next few weeks, if we make a big enough stink, it'll, if not, it'll be six months from now, they'll release some side shot of, of you know hundreds of cameras and say, oh, we only caught it from the back. We don't know who he was. It'll just be on some side show. Right now that it's the big announcement, it's all about attacking Yemen and all about body scanning you and checkpoints on highways and roads and how the feds have to take over and it's their big announcement and Obama's notified another Nigerian went potty for 19 minutes and oh, the president's scared on the phone. He was in the potty? Another one? I, uh, I'll, I'll save the people. I, I'll take their rights. Oh, thank you, Obama. Right now it's about a smoke screen to cover up the passage of health care coming up next week. So people don't look what's in the bill or the Democrat revolt or what, two Democrats stepping down, leaving their parties and, 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 and total revolt from the left against the health care bill because they found out it's.